So you're on this new series playing, before we get into, into spoilers, talking about the characters you're playing. I play Sally Ann, who lives in a, a small coal mining town in Kentucky, who works at a store, you know, very general store, and uh, one night her store is, I guess, robbed by the infamous Farrell, Farrell family, and she comes face to face with Hassel Farrell. Uh, I am Hassel Farrell. <laughs> <laughs> I am that Farrell. Um, <laughs> I play Hassel Farrell, I play uh, one of the Farrells that lives up on the mountain, um, and I, you know, am uh, in an interesting place in my life where, you know, I love where I'm from and I love my family, but you're at the age where you want to start exploring, and, you know, I've gone down into town on runs, and I'm sure some things have piqued my interest and probably snuck down there once or twice, and on one particular run, I run into Sally Ann, and that's kind of... It's kind of it for me. I now have, you know, I start sneaking down more and making a lot of questionable decisions trying to pursue this one. And from the pilot episode that I saw, it doesn't seem that Sally Ann is afraid of the story being robbed, but she seems more intrigued about who yeah. the Farrell character is and wants to know more. Why so? I, that scene is was our audition scene. And um, I think that you do grow up hearing all of these stories about the Farrells and how dangerous they are. And I mean, that's manifested in that scene because they are robbing it. But I think that when you meet Hassel, he's nice and he's kind to her and he's, he's sent there as a distraction, but he's very sweet about it and you can see that he's interested. So literally all of this stuff is happening, but they kind of draw into each other and that takes away a bit of the uh, apprehension, but you, he is still a feral. Like mm -hmm. that's, at the end of the day, he's still a feral. Now, as a feral, he's, you know, from what I can see, he's bold, he's careless. Uh, is that how the character's supposed to be played or is there more to him? Uh, to Hassel? Um, Hassel is, I mean, he's, he's, he's kind of a free spirit. You know, he's, he's, um, he's very open and he's very, <sighs> You know, he's he's kind of a little Tarzan action, a little bit of a, he's like a little wild child. You know, he grew up in the woods. He grew up kind of on his own. And um, so I think there is a part of him that is is definitely that. But there's a lot of love there and there's a lot of heart to Farrell. Uh, Far there's a lot of heart to Hassel. And, and he's a good representation of, of, of what the Farrells are and can be. You know, up on the mountain right now, there's a lot of turmoil. But for the most part, like, Hassel still keeps that sense of, what it means to be a feral. You know, he's not bickering amongst himself, amongst, you know, others. That's probably because he's not really around. But at the same time, there is that loving, sweet side of him. But like she said, at the same time, he is still a feral. And there's, a, there's, it's definitely never something you want to forget. Right. Because I was raised a very different way. I was born in a place you don't understand. And I'm smaller than most of those guys up there. That it's like, you know, I handle myself very differently than a lot of people would, down, than pretty much anybody would down in town. You can never forget that a feral is still a feral. Mm -hmm. Now, being that this is uh, centered with your background, the family's background, and things a little bit about and technology, could you imagine yourself being anywhere without the use of a phone or any sort of electronics and living like that? Yeah, yeah, I could. It would. For how long? <laughs> I don't, I know, don't know, but I would like to do it. <laughs> yes, yes, I'd love to try it. I think that that's part of the allure for me is that you're reading about this family that is living parallel to us who do not have any of those distractions. And they, you kind of wonder, what do they do up there? And I think that that's kind of going to be a draw for the audience member because it's like, well, what do ferals do? They don't have, you know, Netflix and they don't have all those other things, so how do they occupy themselves in the yeah. midst of, you know, um, in the midst of everything that's going on. I think a lot of people, you know, I think there's a lot of people that would like to tune out, yeah. you know, and be able to shut down and shut off for a while. Um, you know, even for a day. I mean, it's hard to even just keep it off for a day. Like, if I could take my lady and my kids somewhere and literally just be like, turn everything off and let's see how long we can go, it would be nice. It would be nice to just connect again. And I think, you know, I think that'll be an appealing thing for the audience to see the Farrells because that's, that's all they have. They have each other. You know, they don't have all this other stuff. When they eat together, they talk and they eat together, not, not on their phone, not paying attention, you know. Um, so I think that's a, I think 
I think people will latch onto that and, and kind of be like, oh man, I wish I had a little bit more of that. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks.